of the things that our program has been able to give us is funding to put people on the ground. And the nice thing is that we've had probably, I'd say 85 to 90 percent of the funding we got has gone to hiring people who haven't been employed. So it's been doing that goal too, putting people to work, getting out here. I would say that we probably knocked the pepperweed back about 90 percent over a three year period. And uh, the results are tremendous because even without a receding out here, you're seeing native grasses come back. The Cottonwood Gallery Forest is just this incredibly dynamic um, environment that's along the Carson River. And at one time it stretched all the way from way up in Alpine County all the way to Fallon. And they estimate its acreage at more than 15,000 acres, and now we think there's less than 3,000 acres. And so what we're doing is restoring that gallery forest, and that gallery forest is a, an amazing um, habitat that provides places for all the different neotropical migratory songbirds. There's all kinds of other mammals and predators and hawks and eagles and you name it, from raccoons to bears that come through the area. So it's a wonderful, wonderful um, segue connection between communities, between sections of the river, between towns, and wildlife can move up and down it. Invasive plants, not just weed like perennial pepperweed, have invaded a lot of our streamside areas. When it dries out, it becomes a hazardous fuel, and it directly affects and threatens the Cottonwood Gallery Forest as well as adjoining neighborhoods. By treating the perennial pepperweed, we are actually reducing fuels and helping to protect the Cottonwood Galleries and um, adjoining neighborhoods. This property here used to be the old Rolling A Ranch and about 700 or 276 acres of it got deeded to the county and for open space access to the river. And when we first came here it was about out of the 276 acres it was close to 175 full of perennial pepperweed and solid infestation. This particular field here was probably about 75 percent of it was infested with perennial pepperweed, hoary cress, some scotch thistle. We've done different mechanical treatments. We did actual mowing, followed up with an herbicide application for treatment, and we've done multiple backpack treatments as well with it. And the, the stimulus crews have been very helpful here because we had a lot of old decadent material and we couldn't get to any of that new stuff coming up to do a, a, a worthwhile treatment. So they helped us in this section here do about 24 acres of burning, uh, which was very productive because then it allowed everything to get opened up and we could go in and treat it. The crews have helped us with treating weeds, with uh, mechanical burning and, and debris and brush clearing. They've also helped us with a bioengineering project here on the north side of the river and also on the south side of the river. Between these two projects here, we planted, I think, close to 60,000 willows, which the crews helped us harvest. I was unemployed before this job. I just recently purchased a house. My job was secure, but because of the economy, I lost it. And if it wasn't for this job, I would have lost my house. So it has helped me out a lot. I'm a lifelong carpenter and with the construction slowdown in the valley here, you know, I'm a homeowner and was having a tough time, was on unemployment for about three months and definitely needed to get off and get out and do something. So I was really happy this came along. It's definitely helped me keep my home and keep the family fed for sure. And so this programs like this to continue on an ongoing basis, not only for water quality and watershed issues, but to preserve the agricultural community here, the perennial pepperweed is a tremendous threat to that. And I see a great effect in maintaining, even though weed control is something I would rather not do as a rancher, at least I can manage weeds on my own property because with the help of the conservation district and these different funds, it's being managed on a broader scale. And, and, and we're not surrounded by it and feeling like an island trying to take care of our land. Everybody's working together and it's really, I think, prolonged and preserved the production of the agricultural property.